Hello, hello everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful, beautiful day. And I hope you are creating something beautiful and amazing. Please, please tell me what you're working on. <laughs> you are on Tony's Witchy Arts and Crafts, and I'm Tony. Hi, hello. All right, this is the last and final update on the junk journal I was making for Silver Moon um, Creations challenge that she had going on. Okay, so one more time, um, if you missed uh, uh, Silver Moon Creations here on YouTube, I will link her channel in the description box. Okay. Um, she was doing a, a November buy nothing junk journal challenge. Okay. And her only rules is you had to fit in the 20 items that she was asking you to fit into. And I hope I completed that. <laughs> and so I finally finished the journal. I, well, to, to the point where I don't want to work on it no more. <laughs> Because I have so many other things I need to get to. And so here it is. I am completely done with it. Here's the spine. Okay. And so let's take off the charm first. So you can see what I did here. Can you hear that? I love the sound because I put some metal pieces on here with the little bells. And you know how, like an old fashioned kitchen, your grandma had the metal, different shaped metal pans for your cakes and stuff. You know, reminds me of you know, her getting those out. And it was pretty cool. So I had to put those on there. So there's a star and there's a gingerbread man. Okay. And there's some bells and some beads and pearls and stuff. Oh, here's another gingerbread. Okay, he doesn't want to stay on my hand. Gingerbread man right there. This one has a little bow tie on it. Here's one of my um, boho beads. Put on there. And there is a candy cane. Okay. And then there's this little shovel type scoop here. So I think a month and a half ago I received some happy mail from a friend in Finland. Um, I have, I have like three, three from Finland now, so that's pretty cool. But in that package, there was a, um, I think it was like a whiz fizz candy and inside the candy was this little spatula so you could like scoop it out, right? After I was done with it, I cleaned it up and I put a bunch of glitter glue and glitter in there and let it dry like... Like grandma's in the kitchen scooping up some magic to put in her her recipe, right? <laughs> That's what I was going for. And then I punctured a little hole in there with my crocodile and just hung it on here. And I thought that was super cool. So, there, there's the charm. And that just goes right up here on the spine. <laughs> so here we go. And now... And I just tied all my signatures in, and then this is what it looks like on the side here. So I'm just going to untie that and let it flop open here. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, see, it's all, it's all tied in. You guys pretty much saw me do the first signature. Um, I think I showed, yeah, I showed the, this first signature off in a video already. So yeah, I got through that. And I already did a check off list to make sure that I used everything on the list for the challenge. And then here's the second signature. So for the second signature, I used another candy wrapper to make another little dangle here. And on this dangle, there's a little knife. So you can spread your chocolate on your cookies, right? <laughs> And then um, I got to this point and I realized, hey, I need to slow down on the decorations. So I started keeping things plain in case the person that's receiving it um, wants to decorate 
according to their recipes that they're going to put in it. So I kept the, um, the index cards plain. I kept the pockets plain. I just added the numbers. Because if they're doing some kind of like, I don't know, some kind of fruitcake or something, they, they might want to label fruitcake recipes and then they might want to put pictures on the back of their card of their fruitcake or something so they know how it's supposed to turn out each time. You know, you know how cooks are. They like to, you know, put pictures in their cookbooks as well. So, yeah. And then here's another uh, junk mail pocket I kind of decorated. Another image from the book pages. It just kept things plain. It also keeps things flatter because the more I add to it, the more bulky it's going to be and harder to close. <laughs> Got more pockets here. There's some of that clusters that I made. Uh, there's that napkin. So, so there's, there's that one. And here's the last signature. Um, I did not have a different candy wrapper to use for a dangle, so I found I found this beautiful tassel that I've had in my stash for quite some time, and I'm like, ah, oh, gotta use it. So I put it on a paper clip with another tiny little charm, and this one is a fork. So now, each signature has a little silverware piece on it. So the first one has a spoon, the second one has a knife, and this third one has a fork. So it's got a spoon, knife, and fork now. <laughs> Here's some fabric pieces and buttons and doilies and book pages. And there's another recipe tuck in here. Another recipe tuck in here. Little flip outs. Pockets. And I don't think yet. Here's a little tuck spot with a pocket, I guess. Here's a little corner tuck. And that's, these corner tucks came from that master board that we made for it. Here's a little pocket, little tag. And here's some more of that junk mail that I decorated. I saw somebody, this was probably the last piece that I put in. I saw somebody on YouTube, instead of covering it in washi tapes, you know, they tore the little edges. And it was like... It's like the edges are being torn on the side and you're seeing through to the next paper in your paper pad almost. Like, I don't know, I kind of liked the look, so I tried it and I love it. <laughs> we got that. Here's another little cluster. A pocket tuck. Here's a doily and here's another napkin. I really love how that napkin turned out. And then see some other pages. And then there's another napkin. I made that a little tuck spot too, pocket area. And then oh, here's some more of that master board right back here. Oh, here's a cluster. Looks like I forgot to glue that one. Uh, this is a little fabric cluster that I wanted to glue onto this page and I forgot. So it's just staple on there. And that's it. That is it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, kind of, you know, me giving updates on this journal. But now I'm to the point where I have to put it in a box and wrap it up <laughs> and move on to the next project. I think now I'm going to put some of this Christmas stuff away and um, get my father's painting out that I was working on and finishing that one up too. And then if there's anything else I need to work on, then those things will come next. But there we go. Tell me how it looks. What do you guys think? <laughs> I kept the plane, the best plane. Because more than likely it's going to be in the kitchen, sliding around on the counter, getting all yucky. And I don't want to mess up any pretty pictures. But yeah. Ta-da! All right. So, what do you guys think? Did I pass the challenge? <laughs> um, I definitely went through the book and I went down the list to make sure I had everything on the list in there. So, I think I nailed it. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you so much for um, tuning in and watching. And I hope you all have a beautiful day.